Hello, welcome to today's tip. We're going to change the default font. Uh, why would you want to change the default font? Well, because sometimes if you change the text on your uh, sheet and then you use command backslash to unformat it, it goes back to the font that's default, which is Arial. Sometimes you want 100% you know that every font in your sheet is going to be Oswald, Comforta, Arial New, or Comic Sans if you're a crazy person. Um, but you don't want that. So, um, what you do is you change the format theme to change literally this, uh, what challenges await? Well, this is not transferable to other sheets. So once we do it to this sheet, we have to do it to every sheet we ever want to use, which is not a terrible problem to have. Um, it doesn't change the color background. We can change a lot of the colors we use in our charts, um, sort of some basic features. And uh, the changes we make are only on the custom theme, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, I talk a lot about my favorite fonts because uh, Arial is a terrible font to have to look at all day, every day. If you're using Sheets 10 hours a day, then check out bettersheets.co. I'm giving lifetime access to all of my tutorials. We go deep into what are uh, the, my favorite fonts and why they are, and you'll be able to even add more fonts. I tell you about this cool thing where you can actually go to and add more fonts than you ever imagined. So how do you change the default font is you go to format and over here you have a uh, theme. So we go format theme and you can click on any of these existing themes. Let me move my face over here. And there's some like really nice themes here to choose from. Um, but you have your own particular font you want to use. So you just click customize. And what it's going to do is it's going to create a, a custom one. We can actually go standard customize. And now we can change the font here. Arial, we want to change it to Courier New. And we could change all these colors. These colors are for like charts, chart background. You just can't uh, change your background color. But it also does mention that edits to this will be saved over the existing custom. So you don't have multiple custom themes. You only have one theme. You just want to change this, click done. And now if I go here and I command uh, slash to unformat it, it unformats to the courier new, which is my default font now. So now I don't ever have to change this uh, font. It's actually the default. Uh, and that's how you change the default font. It's not transfer again, it's not transferable to any other sheets you make. Uh, it doesn't change the background color. If you want to learn about why changing the background color is really important, go to bettersheets.co. Uh, I talk a lot about just making sheets experience better uh, because we spend time in Google Sheets. And you can make a very nice background that's a little easier on the eyes by just doing FB, FB, F8. That makes it look like paper. That's a little teaser for you. Check out bettersheets.co. And that's what it looks like. Nice paper. Bettersheets.co for more tutorials, free tutorials there, but also pay for full access, full lifetime access. I'll never charge you again uh, for all the videos that exist. Thanks. Bye.